Hey guys, Redsbone is back with some more command blocks. This is a well-known device for adventure maps. It basically detects when you drink a potion. And yeah, I haven't invented this. Uh, I've seen this on the internet. The problem with this though is that it doesn't work in multiplayer because you're basically detecting when a player has a potion effect. You don't know which player has it. That's why I came up with this. It's basically the same as that. Uh, it just works in multiplayer. Uh, you don't need to build this. Uh, just go into the description below and you can download the MC Edit schematic from there and just use MC Edit to import it into our map. If you care about frame rate, you're gonna import it into one chunk, not uh, crossing any chunk borders. You can import several of these into the same map, uh, just keep in mind that each one requires an objective of its own. The default objective is potion, so don't forget to create it. And if you have several of these devices, uh, just um, go into each command block and wherever you see potion, change that to whatever other objective you wanna use. Next, you want to go into this command block and replace this symbol with uh, the potion ID that you want to use. So in my case, 13 for water breathing. Also, if you don't know how to make these potions, I'll include a link to the MC Edit filter that you can use to change uh, potion effects on potions. Your output command blocks are here, these four. Uh, you can also have more, just extend this wire however far you want and connect it to anything you want. You can have any command you want in there, just uh, make sure you target this player. And this is an example, uh, it says system triggered by this player uh, and it plays the uh, orb sound to this player. Anyway, once you've done all of that, you can press this button to start it up and you don't need this anymore. And now it's working, I can trick the potion and it does uh, what we said there. System triggered by Redsbone 1 and uh, the sound effect. As you can see, it doesn't work every time, actually I got very lucky there because works like 80% of the time. Uh, if you have just correct timing it's gonna fail to work. Like, I'm not doing it. It's just working. <laughs> Come on! Well, you can see it's very reliable, but it's not 100% reliable. It sometimes fails, very rarely. So, um, you don't want the player to have just a single potion. You want them to uh, get a new potion whenever they drink it. Because it could happen that this fails. If you found this useful, you might be interested in how to make play sound work in multiplayer. I recently made a video about it and uh, you can watch the video by clicking the link on my hand. And thanks for watching.